Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started right now. Big crowds round out 98th annual motorcycle week. Officials say crowds return after pandemic made for smaller event last year. The 98th annual Laconia Motorcycle Week wraps up this weekend and many business owners said it will give them the boost they need after they were hit hard by the pandemic. Event organizers and local officials said Motorcycle Week seemed to be the busiest in years, a welcoming sign after a tough year for area businesses. It's certainly the biggest crowds I've seen in the last few years, said Police Chief Matt Canfield. Canfield said crowds started flooding into Lakeside Avenue last Friday and have remained throughout the week. The first weekend was busy, he said. Today is shaping up to be a very busy day, and we antis anticipate it to be busy throughout the weekend. Jennifer Anderson, Deputy Director of Laconia Motorcycle Week Association, said, It's nice to see old friends again after many people couldn't make it last year because of COVID-19. You can feel the energy of everyone and the positivity all week long, Anderson said. People are so grateful to actually be out. Although Motorcycle Week still went on last year, it was held on a much smaller scale because of pandemic-related mandates. But this year, those mandates are gone, and Anderson said that's attracting more people, which also brings financial relief to local businesses. We're talking about a boost to the economy that's over a hundred million on average each year, Anderson said. She said that when the 98th Motorcycle Week comes to an end, planning will begin for next year and beyond. We're planning for the next two years because we have the 99th next year and of course the big anniversary in 2023, Anderson said. Laconia Motorcycle Week is the oldest motorcycle rally in the world. And that does it for this news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday and see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.